bro, that's that's one way to do it, is go by the seed of the um, of the of the father. All right, but there's many ways to figure it out. So right now we can get you another way to see if you're a child of Israel or not. Give me uh, Deuteronomy 28 verse 15. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 15. Now remember, we just came out of Egypt, you know, with Moses, and Moses talking to us, all right? It's what Moses told us. He first told us if we listen to the laws of God, he's going to put us above every nation, right? So he's going to tell us the opposite side of that. Go ahead. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day. So what he's saying is, if we break the laws of God, if we continue not to listen to him, what's going to happen? That all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So he said all these curses are going to overtake us. Now remember, he's talking to the children of Israel. There's a lot of other nations there too, but he's only speaking to us. That's how we know these curses are upon us. Now give me the, um, this should be upon us for a sign. Give me that one. I think it's, was it, 40, uh, uh, the sign. 45? Yeah, 40. 46. Yeah. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 6, 46. 45. Moreover, all these curses shall come upon thee and oh, empress and shall pursue thee. So these curses are going to pursue the children of Israel. Go ahead. And overtake thee till thou be destroyed because thou hearkenest not unto the voice of the Lord thy God. Now remember, he's only speaking to Israel. They're going to destroy us, these curses. Go ahead. To keep his commandments and his statutes which he commanded thee. And they shall be upon thee for a sign and for a wonder and upon thy seed forever. Remember that seed, the same seed he was talking about. They're going to be upon your seed forever. So as long as we pro, uh, keep on having babies, these curses are going to be upon us. And that's another way we know. Now give me uh, 68 real quick. Did you ever hear about we, how we got over here? You hear about the curse of being over here on slave ships? Yeah. yeah. So you know that already, right? So who did it happen to? Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans to the children of Israel. So that's another way to figure out who the children of Israel are. Romans 8, 16. Each race takes his turn in enslaving people. Go back, go back to, um, go back to 68. Deuteronomy 20 and 68. Because you said, cause, no, no, so listen, remember what I said. You're right, they were all slaves. All nations were slaves at one time. But remember, these are specific curses. Now go back to 68. Now, remember, now listen very closely to this. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. Give me uh, Exodus 20 and 2. Now remember, he's going to bring us into Egypt. We just left Egypt. We walked out of Egypt. He said, this time, if you don't listen, you're going to go into Egypt again on ships. Now we're going to get you the definition of Egypt. This is the book of Exodus, chapter 20 and verse 2. I am the Lord thy God, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. Israel, the, the word Egypt is synonymous with bondage, with captivity, with slavery to Israel. Because why? We serve hardcore bondage in Egypt. All right? The Egyptians, they, they, were, they was in their kingdom. So when we hear Egypt, it means slavery to us. Now go back to this. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 68. Don't lose the point. Remember what Egypt means. Go ahead. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt. What does Egypt mean? He's going to bring us into what? Go ahead. Again with ships. So that's another point. We're the only people that went into slavery on cargo slave ships. Right. All right. You, you can't say that about the Chinese people or the East Indians. That's why these curses are specific to us. Finish it up. By the way whereof I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. It says these people on this side would not see their homeland again. Like you said, go back to Jerusalem, which is in Africa. All right? Now, the Chinese man can go back to China. He knows his heritage. The East Indian knows his heritage. Every other nation knows who they are except for us. Jeez. We are the only people that had our whole identity wiped away from us and taken away. Right. That's us. It, it only fits us. Remember, it says pursue us and overtake us and destroy us. These curses. It didn't happen to any other nation. Finish it up. And there ye shall be sold unto your enemy. And there, the place that those, those ships take you, you're going to be sold unto your enemies. For what? For bond men. Slave men. And bond women. Look at these signs right here. Put on auction blocks. We were sold to our enemies. We were sold to every other nation. Every, other, every nation had a hand in our slavery. Keep going. 
And no man shall buy you. And no man shall be able to redeem us. No one man, like we had many people rise up for us. Many famous black and Hispanic leaders that rise up for us. Martin Luther King, Malcolm X, Marcus, uh, Marcus Garvey, Chief Hartway. They never were able to get us out of this condition. Now give me Daniel 9 and 12. I'm, I'm, you know what's funny though, man? 9 and 12. With that Egypt, you know Egypt was actually slave. I mean, Israel was actually slaved in Egypt for 400 years. Yes, sir, you know that. Came. You know that. You know, we was, in, we was here 400 years before so you see the come, came. So you need to come to Paris. Yeah, so now that you see Now you know it's, that it's specific to us. Now I'm, I'm going to show you something too. I think it's 9 and 12. Is it uh, Daniel 9 and 12? You explain it. 9 and 12. 9 and 11 and 12, yeah. Daniel 9 and 11 and 12. Now, now, 11, okay. Just listen to this. We'll keep on going. We're going to see. We're pinpointing this thing so no one can say it's bland and everybody was in this. We're going to pinpoint that it's only happening to the children of Israel. This is the book of Daniel, chapter 9 and verse 11. Yea, all Israel have transgressed thy law. Y'all paying attention? He said, all Israel have transgressed my law, broke my law. Go ahead. Even by departing, they that might not obey thy voice. Therefore, the curse is poured upon us, and the oath that is written in the law of Moses, the servant of God, because we have sinned against him. So he's saying we broke the laws of God, we broke the covenant that we had with the, with the Father. Keep going. And he hath confirmed his words, which he spake against us. And against our judges. Read it again. Pay attention. Read it again. And he hath confirmed his words, which he spake against us, and against our judges that judged us by bringing upon us a great evil. A great evil, because remember, it said if we if we did listen to the laws of God, what's going to happen to us? Would it be cursed? It's a great evil. But keep going. For under the whole heaven, under the whole heaven, in this whole world, go ahead hath not been done as hath been done unto Jerusalem. To the children of Israel. There's no slavery. There's no evil, wicked thing that has been done to anybody else more than to us. That's why we have the worst slavery. We have the worst hand that, that was dealt to us. Everybody else, like I said, knows their heritage. When they did go into slavery, they still knew who they were. We went into slavery, we came over here. What happened to us? What was your name before you came over here? Who was your people? What was your customs? It was Jeremiah, exactly, exactly, Jeremiah 17 and 4. It was wiped away. Why? Exactly. So that's that's how you know this talking about the children of Israel. It's, it's very specific, man. It's very, no, and, and check, check this out. I'm going to let you know, this is why we believe in the Bible right here. This is why we believe, because our history is all through this Bible. Yes, sir, I got you. Yes, sir, I got you. This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 17 and verse 4. And thou... Even thyself shall discontinue from thine heritage. This is Jeremiah, an Israelite man, saying he's going to discontinue from his heritage. Speaking about our people in a later time. In a future time, we're going to lose our heritage. Where do we lose our heritage? Slavery. Keep going. That I gave thee, and I will cause thee to serve thine enemies in the land which thou knowest not. And that land is over here because remember, we come from where? Like you said, Africa, right? And now we're in a whole other land, land that we don't know about serving our enemies. The same people that wiped our history away. That's trying to teach everybody that we're all the same, that we know there's everybody went into slavery the same way. But you just, you just admitted to it that we didn't. We had the worst hand in it. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, Nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road. Purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana. Sierra Leone, 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how we're men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.